Since 1980, Abtex has been helping manufacturers in multiple industries cut costs by dramatically increasing productivity. For today's manufacturers, efficient use of floor space is a major concern. That's why a customer recently reached out to Abtex. One of the customer's legacy deburring machines was consuming far too much valuable space. The customer produces large volumes of sintered powder metal transmission components. Often, one surface is flat and the other contains a raised feature. Tolerances on both sides are close and critical. To devise a more compact and efficient solution, Abtex engineers started with the company's proven Tri-10 deburring system. The Abtex Tri-10 has achieved an industry reputation as the go-to solution for a wide range of deburring challenges. Each Tri-10 generally contains at least one planetary head, which drives three 10-inch brushes spinning independently. But to help this customer save considerable floor space, Abtex designed and built this Tri-10 with two planetary heads and an integrated, innovative, space-saving flipping conveyor. Here's how the system works. Parts are loaded either manually or automatically onto a conveyor at the entrance of the Tri-10. Upon entering the system, the parts are held firmly in place by permanent magnetics in the conveyor as they travel. The exposed surface is precisely deburred under the first planetary head. Parts are then transferred to the flipping conveyor. They are magnetically turned to expose the opposite surface and released to slide down a chute and proceed to the next planetary head. Parts then move under the second planetary head, which thoroughly deburs the remaining surface. After passing through a demagnetizer, parts are rinsed by coolant jets above and below and then emerge from the other end of the Tri-10, ready for the next stage in the manufacturing process. This Abtex innovation allowed the customer to reclaim valuable manufacturing floor space by replacing the massive U-shaped legacy system. Where machine, brush, and burr intersect, Abtex dominates.